Were you ever in a dogfight and, after having run out of ammo, wish that you could just simply reload your guns? Well, you're probably out of luck, unless you're flying a plane like the BF-110. Now, the BF-110 Zerstörer is a very interesting concept and a plane that I could talk about at length. However, today I want to specifically look at its weaponry and what makes it so special as a twin-engine heavy fighter. I hope this video does not only just prove educational, but it's also going to give you a few bragging points if you ever happen to see one in a museum and you can show off your knowledge. Now, one of the plus sides of the BF-110 is its powerful weaponry. The plane is armed with four MG-17s, which fire 7.92 millimeter rounds, which are offset from each other in order to allow the maximum number of guns facing forward in as tight a space as possible. Now, unless we're talking about specialized variants, the BF-110 was also armed with two 20mm cannons, with early versions having MGFFs, then MGFF-Ms, allowing you to fire the Minengeschoss, the mine shell, and later versions then eventually switched to the MG-151-20. Funnily enough, these cannons are in fact installed behind the pilot, meaning that the rounds have to traverse a certain amount of distance within the actual plane. However, while this setup might be a little bit strange at first, it did allow for a good ammo capacity, both in the MG-17s and in the 20mm cannon. The MGFF was limited to 60 rounds a drum mag, something the pilot would chew through rather quickly. If we have a look from the gunner's perspective, you can start seeing the bigger picture here. Because while the BF-110 only has 120 rounds charged in the gun at first, additional ammo drams beef up the overall ammo capacity of the aircraft to 360 rounds. So let's imagine that our BF-110 is in a dogfight and he starts shooting his guns. The ammo counter installed at the top right of your instruments will start counting down, but it does not count down from 60, it starts counting down from 80. This is gonna make sense soon enough because it stops at 20. At this point, the pilot has to yell at his gunner requesting a reload. Now, provided that the gunner is able to do so, because, you know, he has other things to do as well, and in a looping, it's gonna be a little bit hard to actually reloading these guns, he will get to the job. If needed, the pilot will probably use a couple of swear words in order to make the whole process go a little bit faster. Now, once the guns are reloaded, the pilot hears so from his gunner, and he can start firing again, now counting down from 20 to 60. And at this point, if you've done the math, you'll know that the pilot has only one more reload per gun left, meaning that the shot counter is now going to count down to zero. Very nice little feature of these ammo drums is in fact that you can also read off the ammo on them if the shot counter is having some kind of malfunctioning, informing the pilot of how many shots he has left, if any at all. While all of this is quite interesting feature, it must be said that it is also counterintuitive to some degree. If you think about it, in a combat situation, reloading these guns is going to be somewhat difficult. The gunner has to take the drums out, has to put one aside, put the next one in, charge the gun, and repeat the process with the next gun, making the plane virtually defenseless from the rear. And also, if the pilot chooses to make some kind of crazy maneuver, maybe because he has to, it's going to be a somewhat rough experience for Fritz in the back. That being said, before the BF-110 was upgraded with the higher capacity MG-151-20s, this did allow the aircraft to extend the longevity of its punch for a considerable amount. If you learned something from this video or if you want to show off this peculiarity to one of your friends, feel free to share this video and give me an iron cross via that like button or don't, that's fair enough as well. So as always, I hope you guys have a great day, good hunting and see you in the sky.